I used to work at a a Target inside of a Starbucks, and the the hours. Was- <laughs> <laughs> you had to be there at five in the morning. Last, okay, okay. When I was in- is that an original joke? Yeah. So when we were <laughs> you in- just ripped that now, or have you been doing that lately? I thought of it on Thursday because we were in a coffee shop that had a theater in it, yeah. and I was like, "This is kind of like when you go to a Target that has a Starbucks in it a little bit," and that got a laugh. And I was like, "My dream is to own a Starbucks that has a Target in it." <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. Do you tweet that? Dude, yeah. Start. Sh- all right, we're starting off with a live tweet on the <laughs> podcast. Always, dude. Ryan, blast that off. How oh, he's got that? the. He's got the phone. Get he's the got phone the gun. <laughs> he's got he's the got, gun. He's gonna. He's got he's a gonna phone. Blast off. I need you to turn in your badge and your phone. <laughs> he's got a phone. He's gonna tweet. <laughs> he's he's gonna tweet cannon. something. He's, Stop that man. He's a loose cannon tweeter. Stop that man from posting. <laughs> You fucking wish you could stop me from posting. You, you wish you could stop my shit post. <laughs> I'm a fucking maniac. So it could be maybe a lot of people dream of <laughs> what, it, what? How did you phrase it? I think it should be more like Dan, like first day working at a <laughs> Target inside of a Starbucks. What about the, like, shit, hour, the hours shit, are brutal? <laughs> the shit rules. This, no, I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. A lot of Starbucks in. A lot of Starbucks in Targets. Inside of. Targets. Target. Yep. And then a couple periods. My dream. Yeah. Own. <laughs> yeah. Do but do, and then can you do the emoji where he's like blowing a little smoke? I've been really into that emoji lately. I, through like his the, nose. Yeah, he's like ooh. He's I've like, been I've been seeing that emoji send, a lot. Send that emoji to me real quick. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send. So I know which just one. drop it in the chat. Uh, that Dude, is... I, I love it when we workshop tweets. It's like my favorite. Which emoji should... It might be my favorite part of the show. Honestly. This, is, this is what we got. Yeah, that's the one. A lot of Starbucks inside of Targets. My dream is to own a Target inside of a Starbucks. Yeah. All right. Did you get the emoji? Yeah. Dude, yeah, that emoji is so funny. It's interesting. Why? Why? Uh, why do <laughs> like emojis are going going up and down there's an emoji marketplace you know what emojis I mean? are like becoming hot. more light skin is kind of the, the trajectory of what's happening what the hell does that even mean Tom? they're you know like they're becoming more like drake-esque you know <laughs> like whatever drake energy whatever he's got, boy. yeah yeah we know yeah, we whatever, know. yeah exactly that's like that's that's what's happening with emojis yeah i didn't listen to it no anyways uh hey everybody welcome to the we cool podcast podcast where we apologize we demand apologies and read anonymous listener apologies i'm one of your hosts grant winkles inside lovely sisyphus brewing sitting here to my left we got ryan call what's up buddy what's up got a lot of things to apologize for i feel very bad for a lot of things that i've done recently in my life and so i'm glad that we have this outlet for me to do that this is a uh, interesting development normally you're very yeah, you're, uh, you're, you've never well, I never, never apologize this on the show. when I do wrongdoing to peers or people who are younger than me. I don't feel that bad, but when it's people who are objectively above me, mm. that's when you really think about what the fuck you're doing with your life. Above you in age or social, social, social status. status. You know when I'm Cast. when I'm pissing off the Queen of England. That's tough. Y'all ever do that? Y'all ever disappoint the Queen of England? <laughs> She oh, writes you a handwritten they're, they're letter. At Sis- he's at Sisyphus doing crowd work right now. Can't, <laughs> yeah. Anybody? Can't, anybody else? can't stop. He's in the room. Yeah. <laughs> the energy's too good. It's bombing. Sorry to say. Don't remind me. Uh, and uh, yeah, beaming in, we got Tommy, the human noise bear. What's up, dude? What's up? Uh, just worked a brunch shift. Um, very tired. Also, my voice. Uh, and- I'm, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Tommy, a brunch shift. Now explain. That's a that's a f- fusion between breakfast and lunch shift. Yeah, so it's this new thing that our yeah. restaurant's doing. I've never heard of one of these. Yeah, so it's like it's I don't know a lot of things. So a lot of things that start in New York don't make it to Minneapolis. It yeah, takes like, years. Yeah, you know. it takes it takes Decade. like three years. Yeah. To, you know, to, you know. But we just got thing pizza and, here, and I gotta say, yeah, I don't how like is it? it? No, it's bad. You don't like Keep pizza? It. Keep it. I'll say this. You guys always talk about the subway so much. Uh, they wouldn't let me ride one of those sandwiches when I went to work. It's like, let me ride one. Come on. I need at least a foot long. Though. I want to like, hear feet. the rest of this fucking concoction that they got going on over there. Yeah. What? So uh, essentially the idea is uh, you take um, 
you take lunch and breakfast mm -hmm. and uh it's like if um lunch and breakfast had a baby oh mm. so it's like so if, it's not like a full menu it's like for a baby like it's made of yeah it's like, like it's if they had a baby menu. yeah and then it's for babies and i'm yeah. guessing uh there's some booze involved too because we all know that that's what happens with babies like yeah they they love to drink get ways to give your kid a little little something something to drink well that sounds fucking enthralling man what if um so wait, yeah you, know, you could get a burger and an egg yeah yes yeah, kind of like that what? that kind of thing what yeah. about a drunk shift a drunk shift yeah that's drunk. dinner that's when dinner you're drunk lunch, brother you can have meatloaf and you could have a uh, steak wouldn't that just be dunch drunch there's no r in brunch it's not there's dinner. brunch Oh, so well, you're no, trying to combine all three. You're trying to so you no, you're not combining yeah. all three. You're combining brunch and dinner. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. Yeah. What I've been, I pitched, meal. I was like, I think we should call it Leck Fist. <laughs> and people were like, I don't like, that makes me feel uncomfortable when you say yeah. Leck Fist. It sounds gross. I have a dream. One meal combined in the day we eat it at 1 p.m. Drunk. Yeah. Crunch. Yeah. Huh? Is that what I called it? Drunch? Drunch. Drunch. Yeah. Or <laughs> Berliner. I like, I like, uh, how y'all doing? My name Berliner. <laughs> how y'all, how y'all doing tonight? How, how we feeling, folks? I'm Berliner, stand up comedian. Berliner, Skinner. Berliner. I'm a I'm a one man Leonard Skinner parody band comedian, <laughs> and I don't know if y'all have ever seen Weird Al, but I am completely not like him at all. Yeah, my songs are not funny. They are not meant to be funny. Uh, weird Al is just downright offensive. Yeah. What did we say yeah. about Weird Al? Too damn weird. Too yeah. damn weird, man. Grant, we made I've that seen joke. Grant, I've seen I need more Al, less weird, more Al. I've seen him try to do that on stage probably four times. He'll be having a fantastic set. The audience will not respond. Oh, that's, yeah, that's Grant's joke. It's amazing. You, you've done that on stage? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've tried it that, many times. Dude, it just, not a chance. That's bombing nine out of ten just, times. Just craters. I think last time I did it, I actually tried to blame Ryan. He was in the crowd, yeah. and I, like, called him out because yeah. one of the tags that he told me to use didn't work. I, I was... Like, that was, I'm I'm chalking that up as a loss for Ryan. It's hard to salvage a shit sandwich, you know. <laughs> it's very true. You can sprinkle all you want, all the pepper you want in that bad boy, but it's still gonna be filled with Here, dog shit. Here's the thing about that though: it yeah. is objectively funny. He's too damn weird. He's gonna get canceled for being too damn weird. Yeah, I think. Why it's is he gonna really get funny. canceled though? Because he's fucking he's weird, weird. Man. I don't know if we need to bring. Why don't you understand about it? You just why not just no, dude? Why not just leave it at? too damn weird and go a different direction well you know what sucks is like i normally are we workshopping that yeah. he's yeah. too damn weird yeah. i just feel like cancel what, what, now that you've got a buzzword in there well yeah i mean but it it kind of works because it's after my like 20 it doesn't it's work. after I've my seen, it's I've after my it. it's after my 20 minute chunk of railing against cancel culture which yeah. always oh, just destroys the room that's it's true. just like you know it, yeah i tear you're it down you're I mean, you're, you're, you're railing <laughs> cancel culture in a sundress yeah, that's my new thing when I walk people. Is that like, right? That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah, someone rail cancel culture in a sundress? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. You guys, you, guys to to put, you guys ever try to put a dress on? I don't think I ever have. Uh, yeah, I, I put it on a dress. I don't have a figure for a dress. I, I look like so. certainly not. It looks it it looks not it looks uh like I'm trying to be funny. And it just isn't, you know. Mm. I did. I was doing this joke with Dana where um, I was putting on her booty shorts. I was doing laundry, so I was putting on her booty shorts and then like a tank top. Yeah. And then she's like in the office doing like schoolwork, and I was coming in like, "Hey, you need you need anything to? <laughs> <laughs> need anything getting... to drink in here? Yeah, I was, it was doing it was doing well in the apartment. Nice. That's good. Also, it's so funny to say it was doing well <laughs> for your girl, for your audience of your girlfriend. You know? I was like, this kind of, you know. Yeah, this bit's it was working. It's got legs. This bit's doing pretty good. Um, I, 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 point legs. being though is I, I I do have a figure for it. I but, think I look good. I, I okay. See that. I think we've I think we've uh, preambled long enough. We've dilly dallied long enough. Tommy, we need to get to your fucking story, man. Oh, yeah, my we've mom was teasing pissed. this. We've been teasing this for well, I so weeks I now. don't know. I don't 
should I do the setup again or just kind of start? Yeah, yeah. Do, give us a recap. Up, give, yeah. give us a okay, recap. Okay, uh, recap. Um, me and my little brother go to the bar to play pool. It's 5 p.m. on a weekday. We're sober. You know, that's just an activity we do together. We play pool. And this woman is a blackout drunk, this black woman. And I preface that or, that she's a black woman because it does matter for the story. And then she's with a Because of what very, Ernie calls her. <laughs> <laughs> she's with a very dusty white guy who he's like very riffraff, but poor, like poor riffraff type guy wearing like a windbreaker, just a, just a dusty white dude. Not like one of these rich riffraff and guys. she she looks like very like very like normally like dressed like in like business casual but she is like uh so so drunk so drunk so it starts <laughs> out so it starts out i'm explaining to marquee the premise of squid games and i'm like i just say the word protagonist and she's like yells from it there's three pool tables she's at the furthest one down she's like protagonist oh you fucking read and she, and it's just like and I thought it was funny. I did think it was funny at first. I was like smiling and I was like, oh yeah, I'm a big genius over. I'm like trying to like match her energy or something. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, and she just is like, keeps like harping on this. And then she's just like, come on, let me get a, like, let me get a shot. And then, and then, Mar and Marky, he's like, not entertaining this. He's like, Hey, come on. We're just, we just kind of want to play, um, you know, you know, by you know, by ourselves, and she's just like. Is Marky a hard ass? He's no, he's no nonsense. Has he just mm -hmm. kind of been in a situation probably similar to this before? I would imagine too, where he's like, he understands that you don't match the person's energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, no. Also, what I'm not, okay, you? yeah, she she came in pretty nice. Like she came yeah. in hot, but like it, not. It was still friendly, kind of right. Or it's kind of friendly. kind of friendly, but just so drunk. Also, yeah, real quick, what is Marky like? Is he kind of side saying anything to you? Like, dude, no, stop, stop. No, 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 no. And then I'm both like, so she gets mad at Marky for right away for because she's like, hey, can I get a shot? And I'm like, I know that you cannot tell this woman like no, because mm -hmm. like that's gonna be a conflict. So I'm like, I'm gonna I'll, I was like, I'll get you for like the next shot. We're gonna start or the next game or whatever. I'm just like just so I just wanted to like forget about what yeah. she's like. Saying she's talking me. about a shot in the pool game, right? Yeah, no, shot. Right. Yeah, shot yeah. pool game. Gotcha. And and then so she's like, like going on. She's like, you. She's like, you got a fucking like problem, white boy. And she's like calling him. And and then we're just like, no, no problem at all. There's, you know, we think you're great. Like, no, no, no black woman. And no, then she's like, no she's like, she's like, does that make you mad when I call you white boy? And to me, and I go, no, I'm not. I'm not mad at all. I. <laughs> I I think it's funny. I don't care. Yeah. And then she's like, well, what have been like, I don't, I don't see color. <laughs> she's like, well, what if I called you, uh, what if, or she's like, what if you call me black woman? And I was like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? Why right would now? I say that to you? So then I'm just like, uh, I'm just like, ma'am, you know, like, I think you're nice. I think you're great. We're just going to play a, a game of pool. And she's like, all right, kind of goes away. And then just like, like, and then like three few minutes later, she's at the end of the pool table and this white guy is like kind of he's like on the phone he's not really paying attention you know he's like he's like going downstairs he's like do he's i think he's doing a lot of coke in the bathroom because also he keeps talking about doing coke in the bathroom so that's probably wow. why mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's like gone in the bathroom for a lot of this so it's just like her and me and marky so like it's just her at the end of the uh bar and she's just like oh oh i oh i get it so you guys you don't like black pussy like, like, and we're like, but what? And she's like, yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't like Wait, black what? pussy. And I'm like, no, we like it. We, I swear, <laughs> like, we, but wow, well, bam, we trust me. I like, we like black pussy. And she's like, oh, you like black pussy? And I'm like, uh, yes. Uh, I think, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, am I supposed to say no? And I'm like, I don't think you're supposed to say no. Oh. And I'm like, no, yeah, that's just. That's just tight. Yeah. That's just, I'm like, not, I'm like, not, be, I'm like putting, making it a little funny. You know what I mean? You know, I'm trying to like, just like keep her away. Anyways, a lot of this stuff is going back and forth. Are, Anyways, are, are there other people populating this bar? Are they noticing I, what's. No, it's just cause it's like 5 PM. So it's just, and yeah. it's this upstairs 
portion of the bar where there's just pool tables, you know? Okay. So the bartenders, okay. yeah. but she, I don't know. Anyways, I, maybe the bartenders know about it, but they just don't want to like deal with it or something. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, she just keeps going at us and I go up to her and I go like, <clears throat> and I talk to her. I'm like, Hey, I don't know what's going on, but you know, we just, I, I, I was like, I don't know why you're angry with us. I'm not, I'm confused. I well, thought cause you was don't like, like black pussy. I mean, <laughs> You weren't emphatic enough. I should have been way more. Just, yeah. That's it. I should have been more stoked on black pussy. Yeah, you know, yeah, I really you should have. have. You should have worn it on your concept. sleeve. But I go up to her and I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but like, you know, we don't want any problems. I think you're great. And she's just like, you know what? You're really sweet. You're really nice. But your brother's a piece of shit and he's racist. And I'm just like, that's fair. Like, all right. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. I was just that. like, yeah, you know, that's all right. You know, you fuck that guy, whatever. <laughs> but I'm just like, I'm going to go she's beat him in pool if it makes you feel any better. She's literally just like, your brother's racist as hell. And I'm like, yeah, you got it. <laughs> you haven't even heard the real stuff, lady. Right. So, and so she's like, so I feel like we've just come to some agreement and we've settled whatever this is of her <laughs> yelling at us and me going like, what's, what's up? Like, what's going on? And uh, then the boyfriend comes back up and she's like very upset. I think she's like crying. I don't, she's probably... Also, I think she was a teacher. She said something like my students dirt. And I was like, does this woman like teach? So no, she's a another- cult leader. She has a cult and she calls her followers. Maybe students. she said, cause she's, there's a lot of banter and it's like, we're really not trying to pay attention, but she did say my students. And it made me think, I was like, is this like some like middle school teacher getting like just blackout, just fucking, yeah. which I'm like, I don't know, you know, maybe who knows. Um, white, you know, boyfriend comes up she's upset or or whatever guy she's with and um they're they they're like doing the grossest makeout <laughs> session and then she's uh. and then i see yeah it's just it's just so drunk and sloppy i was like oh god anyways she i see her pointing at us and she's like upset oh and god. then he comes over pool just pool stick ready to go like and i go and i just runs up pool stick and i'm like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i grab my skateboard i'm like what's going on and he's just like you fucking talk you're fucking disrespecting and i'm like i i was like i we're not trust me i don't know what you told you but we're just trying to play our game of pool and then he puts down a stick marky grabs up a stick and then he walks away and then he comes back in with a ball <laughs> <laughs> dude you <laughs> downgraded stick, man <laughs> yeah and then he comes with the ball and i and, and i then i re-pick up my skateboard i'm like was I, hey stop <laughs> Stop, man. Stop. I'm I'm really scared. I'm really scared. I'm going to get a ball beamed at me. Yeah. Like, got my heart rate. Yeah, yeah it's wrong. Um, so, and then uh, he fucking, and then she's like, no, baby, don't. He, th- th- It's all me. It's all me. He's racist, though, pointing at my little brother. <laughs> he, he's fine and pointing at me. And I'm like, bro, Marky, you're so getting canceled in this town, dude. <laughs> 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 and um, anyways, no fight happens. They leave. Me and Marky just kind of get out of the bar. We go to this other bar that we really like, where we know the bartender down the street. And then we tell the bartender the story. You know, we're like shaken up, you know, and because it's just like so much conflict happened in like 20 minutes. Like this yeah. was like 20, this was one, not even one game of pool, you know? And like, and I had no idea like why it happened. So we're telling the bartender this and she buys us a shot. And she's just like, yeah, I mean, you know, and she's like kind of like one of those witchy Bushwick bartenders, you know, and she's like, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, Mercury's in retrograde. So, you know, it's why. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, what? sure. Uh, yeah. The moon or whatever. It's it's the moon. Cool. You know, that's that's it. That's the story. Yeah. So I demand an apology from both them, I guess. Yeah. Especially the guy. Like, wh- what are you doing yeah. coming in with a pool stick and then a cue ball for yeah and then the pool the stick again and yeah. it's and, I, and i'm like i like i haven't i don't have health insurance i'm like if i hit i don't know like yeah I've never, i haven't been in a fight in like eight years i don't know i i was like <clears throat> am i gonna have to hit a guy like what the hell well also like even if you're gonna like do that which already sucks you know like defend your the the your girl's on or whatever the fuck like Come in and mediate first, you know, get all the facts, see what's going on. Yeah, don't he went, just like come in straight into attack mode. What he went fuck? right in. He didn't even like say anything. He right? just went right yeah, in. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you come of in, course, and you're like, hey, of what, course, but not if you're doing coke on, in the bathroom. 
Not yeah. if you're dealing he, he, the was, bad, he was wired. He was just fucking keyed up. But like, okay, if you're if you're out at a place and you're you come out from the bathroom and your girlfriend's crying and then she's like, it was those guys over there. You don't immediately go into attack mode. You go to the guys and you're like, hey, what's going on? Like my my girlfriend's like really upset. What he was like scary. Something? She seemed like it was more sad. Her situation was more sad because yeah. like she didn't she seemed like she was just it was she wasn't her fault she was just so she couldn't walk yeah like she was like so drunk and yeah. and she was like the only thing that was probably keeping her up was like the cocaine that she was doing with this guy oh. you know so it's like, yeah yeah and me and marky it's just like we were just the guys to get fucked with in that situation oh of course yeah just wrong place wrong time yeah that, that's that's coming for whoever uh sets foot in that bar but especially uh, you guys, though. Yeah, man. You but guys, people kept... a guy like Tommy walks into a bar and you're coked up and angry. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, oh, dude. Man. I have like a certain face. This is another thing about me and Ruth. We, uh, uh, you know, did like an open mic and we were like, let's go to this bar after grab a drink. It's pretty late, too. You know, this is like maybe like the second bar we're going to. And um, uh, the guy looks at me. He's like, all right, like Vax cards and IDs. And, you know, we give him fax cards and IDs. And then he just looks at my fax card and he's like, actually, it's last call. And I'm like, I really like he just looked like like one look at me. He's like, no. And I'm like, fuck this. Yeah. So my life. (laughs) I'm like, maybe I was like, I think I just Ruth's like, that's so weird. I go here all the time. I'm like, I think I got one of those faces where people are like, it's not happening. You You just like made that guy rethink everything. Quit his job uh yeah i was uh i was out at the bars last night and um we went to the vegas lounge the Mm -hmm. karaoke spot in northeast and uh which i think i think we dropped you off there one time tommy after a show like you just wanted to go and drink at the vegas lounge alone i think we did the fair state show do you remember that ryan i think it was me and you and tommy really and uh we just dropped Tommy off at a karaoke bar to drink alone. I've never, I don't know <laughs> what the Vegas lounge is though. It's it's down central from fair state. Yeah. I don't know if I was, I, I swear. What's okay, the vibe look, of the bar? It's it's literally only for karaoke. It's like a dive bar and there's a karaoke uh, like area across one whole wall. And uh, is it, maybe, uh, it's right by spring street tavern where the Monday night comedy yeah, show right is right across the street. It's almost on the same corner. Uh, regardless, I it's, I but uh, we were walking. So I we, don't doubt. I, I don't doubt. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, take me to a dive. Like for sure. Yeah. I like doing that too. There was like, what, yeah, there's something about like smoking a cigarette at like 4 PM, two beers deep, like alone at a dive bar. That is yeah, it's like fun it's, as hell. It's a, yeah. it's, it's a good vibe. Like when you're, when you're on the road and you're like featuring for somebody you don't really know and you just have the day to kill a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go to, go to a beer. dive and just grab a beer. And yeah. Just give all the, the two other drunks in there a nod. And I, I love that shit. Cause man. you're the, you're the stranger in town, especially when it's like a small town. <laughs> yeah, See, this is my dude, thing. Yeah. Dude. This is probably you got your six shooter on your hip. This is probably my favorite thing in your, the world, which is your phone to blast tweets off. Of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then delete them after five minutes. I'm probably, gonna yeah. but yeah, in a tiny town, dive bar just getting drunk with old men and yeah. nobody's yeah. really saying anything mm-hmm. to each other maybe they talk but, to each other a little bit but you know and if you're you lucky know. if you're lucky sometimes you just naturally enter the conversation mm-hmm. and you're just you're just one group now mm-hmm. yeah it's yeah. like cool. and, and then and then uh, next thing you know you guys are starting a podcast together yeah that's true uh and then you talk sporadically once every 17 minutes maybe something happens in the bar that you exchange some words over but other than that dude you're and just, never you're just more there. never more than like seven syllables in yeah. what you say just like yeah brother uh-huh mm-hmm. can't believe it damn straight man yeah what are you gonna do <laughs> anyways uh so we were I've, going- ne- I've like maybe done this one time in my life and i'm just like i love doing it <laughs> i've probably done this like 40 or 50 times. yeah me too me too uh it's i and it's the best one it's yeah it's not your hometown are you checking how many how many likes that tweet has i'm i hate to tell you bro it's one no it's is it yours four thousand now no i haven't yet so i'll go like yeah, it prick i'll go double double your likes on it you guys uh, if you're listening to this podcast like ryan's tweet 
<laughs> Come on, man. I'm never gonna be able to headline with the fucking <laughs> with the Twitter. All right, I'm sorry. So so after Fair State, you uh yeah, no, no, no. So we were at the uh we were at the Moose, which is also a place where it's like uh you get in a fight like without trying in that bar very, very easily, just like kinda it's just young people partying, like not young, it's like 30 to 50 people, 30 to 50 year olds partying, which is like mm-hmm. it's it's a weird energy, you know, it's very much like a melting pot too. Um, and then we went over to the Vegas lounge after that. And uh, as we were like walking up to the Vegas lounge, this is probably like 12 31 in the morning at this point. And uh, like, there's an Uber pulling into the Vegas lounge and a car pulling out, just runs into the Uber hit, hit and run and drives away. And is like yelling at the people what out. The like they didn't really hit it, but they turned like they were, kind of turning the corner and just like completely clipped the front bumper of this Uber. And the guy gets out and he's like, what the fuck? And a bunch of us are just like, Whoa, man, like just drunk people in the parking lot. And he's like, did anybody get their license plate? Or they're like, I'm like, no, (laughs) but we we saw it a little bit, but we saw it. Um, (laughs) No, I'm, I'm drunk, dude. (laughs) Yeah, no, dude. We're like all of us. Do you want a beer? I'll buy you a beer. (laughs) Sorry about your car, man. It wasn't the damage wasn't that bad, but it was definitely like it kind of like tore the corner of the bumper off, which was crazy. And then we like look at the entrance of the bar and security is just like actively like kicking people out, like lifting people up. They're like fighting with people in the the entrance of this bar, like Jesus, picking a guy up, taking him like run like by the by the scruff, like running him to the sidewalk. And then they're like get the you you come back in here we're gonna fucking kick your ass and and we were all just kind of like oh they're actually being like pretty reasonable with this guy because he was being feisty and then he starts like turning around and chirping at him and yeah we were talking so we weren't in any like rush to get into the bar we were like having a conversation before going in and uh it's me and my girlfriend and our friend and but uh, we're just like, holy shit, like, what the fuck is going on here? And then we keep talking and we're like, OK, yeah, yeah. Like, and then I look up and they're just kicking more people out. There's another <laughs> fight happening in the front of the bar with the yeah. security guys. And they're kicking three people out at this time. It's like two huge guys kicking three people out, like lifting them up and carrying them and shit, like separating people. Two people are fighting and they're separating them and also kicking them out. That's an insane job. It, it was crazy. Like, Imagine Kai- being that big. Because Kai yeah. Peterson, who was on the show, friend of yeah. the show, uh, <laughs> he was the bouncer at Kitty Cat Club. And I and I would like go, you know, go to comedy, mm-hmm. do comedy corner, you know, bounce over to Kitty Cat Club, grab a drink, play some pool with Kai. And he'd be getting off his shift and he would just be like manhandling a dude like he just like has to, you like if you're just a bouncer you just have to like fight a guy every day yeah, dude, you're just like teflon and uh it's so funny because we were standing out there and we were still talking while all this is going on and i'm just like man i don't even know if i want to go in this bar right now what oh, the yeah. fuck is going on right now but then we were like ah fuck it we're going yeah, let's go to the bar. <laughs> like yeah we're not gonna do not go we're in the parking lot we're not uh yeah So, um, but then as we were walking in, I like look and in the parking lot next, uh, to the, to the Vegas lounge, like the three people who just got kicked out were sitting there, like basically looking like they were regrouping and like having some sort of like breakdown of like, God, what the fuck? I like like, how you give me, you give me your shirt. I'll give (laughs) you my shirt. It looked like that was happening still. They were all like catching their breath and stuff. You guys, I have a really big trench coat. (laughs) I think we can all sneak back into the bar. Toby, Toby, you run in front of the, the, the bouncers, call them. uh, Also, I like the idea that none of them are friends and they just, they just, the only thing they have in common is that they all have been kicked out of the bar and like, well, they're just rogues. Even, you know what? They just started a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> right then. Three rogues. Wait, dude, you get you get kicked. Yeah, that shit was stupid. You want Were we come, fighting? <laughs> want to hang out? <laughs> we should hang out together. We should um, record this. Um, but so then so then uh like I walk in, I walk into the bar, give the bouncers my ID, and I was kind of just being like, I was I was kind of drunk, so I was just like, oh man, like it looks like you guys are having a wild night. That's crazy. You guys are doing a good job. And the guy was basically just like yeah, shut the fuck up, man. This is my job. I don't even. It's not a big deal at all, dude. Like, just very much like 
I'll kick you out right now yeah. <laughs> or even like talking to me about this basically. And I was just like, cool, man. That's fucking yeah, cool. Rad, I'll just dude. ignore that that happened. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. It's I'm sorry, but to you're me, like, take like, my yeah. girlfriend, please. I'm just kidding, man. How's it going? You guys want to, ha- <laughs> can I buy you a beer? <laughs> just the, just the worst yeah. guy. Grant screaming. You can't kick me out. I produce a podcast. You can't yeah. kick me out. I'll kick myself out. I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself. If I, you kick I, me out I, of this bar. I, it, I was thinking, I don't know, to go back earlier of like, because like me and Marky, we've been finding these like, these dives, you know, in Brooklyn, like, if we have a day, like during the day, like not really drinking, but just like playing a couple games of pool, because it's like, nice and quiet, you know, and uh, there's this one where we're playing some pool. And it's two guys at the bar, they didn't know each other. And they're like making small talk. And I'm not kidding. These guys talked about weed for like, two hours <laughs> like they're like 40 year old guys talking about all the weed they can get and i'm like dude it's legal now like it's not i feel and i it made me feel bad for people who's like their personality is like weed because nah, like, man, i love that there's still those guys out in the world dude. <laughs> but we there don't. was there was a purpose for those guys because you know, legalize it. Yeah, you know, for, that was for the, many years, yeah. And now they the have fourth, nothing to really live for. But they have nothing, but it's accomplished. They, it's all they know, though. So they're yeah. just like trapped in like knowing weed. And <laughs> no, and, those are the guys that are about to start a podcast. Those <laughs> guys are like, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. They're like, dude, I can get some. I get this fire shit from like Pittsburgh, dude. And it's like, dude, it's that's it, what the podcast is going to be too. Just them talking about where they can get different. Yeah. Where they can media. score. You know what the, 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 the be- and shit. Yeah. yeah. Me and Marky are laughing. So like, we're like, these guys rule, man. Yeah. They're just like drunk. Talk- and the funniest part about it was like one guy, I, I was laughing. So hard. one guy goes, you know, I got a, I, I actually got a blunt on me. You want we can go smoke this. And then the other guy goes, nah, I'd actually, I get too anxious. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other guy has the point goes, yeah, me too. It's actually really too early. I'd probably get sleepy and stuff. And then they both decided to not smoke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that fucking After, rules, dude. I love I those like, guys. Yeah, these guys rock, man. It's incredible. I would have oh, given them shit. some CBD, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what yeah. the yeah that's the new type of guy i'm pioneering a new type of guy yeah. cbd guy yeah you're the leader of the cbd boys yeah, the cbd community <laughs> yeah oh, man. it's uh basically uh the the moral of the story of the entire first half of this podcast is that like don't go to the fucking bar man or do i mean the bar is it's simultaneously great, the best place in the world and the worst yeah. place in the world yeah. always yeah it's, yeah. it's yeah. I don't know. It's it's interesting. I it's I I always think it like it must be very difficult for people to be like sober and have a thing where they have to be in a bar because it's such a thing where like I can like be good not drinking and then as soon as I like set foot in a dive bar I'm like oh well I'm I know I'm, dude I gotta get better at it because like Miller Light I, when I started doing open mics I wasn't drinking mm-hmm. you know I was like. I was like, I'm just gonna do comedy like sober and I was having a good time. But then like, now I'm like friends with New York comics and it's like new friendships. Yeah. And it just, it rules so hard getting drunk right now. It's like, I'm having such a good time, but like my voice is gone and works harder. And you're like, ah, man, yeah, we gotta switch it. We gotta go back to sober or like, or at least just not. Because there's been like it's been, it's been like two weeks now where it's like it's it's just so because you do all these like mics and then you go and like you talk it's like new comedy friendships too mm-hmm. and like the guests do shots <laughs> like it's like yeah 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 it's just like too much you know yeah, I'll stay out till four in the morning yeah yeah I better work at five so I'm good <laughs> yeah exactly yeah um I've got I've got a couple of things to apologize for. Okay, and get into those. Interesting, um, man. Oh wow! So, wow. Wow. can I can I want to I want to sit in this moment? Yeah, I've never. Let me know when you're ready. Let's do it. Oh, I got something from earlier. Uh, <laughs> my name is protagonist. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> Hello, bro- <laughs> protagonist. Do you want to speak on that? <laughs> speak on that, brother Grant. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, um. <laughs> Thursday I was in Rochester opening for Sam Town, who was like 
if you haven't heard of this guy, he's probably the funniest comedian alive right now. Um, yeah. He's got a special on Amazon Prime. He writ, wrote a book, uh, Running the Light. He's also, I think he has a podcast too. Um, yeah, I, I think the- Chubby Behemoth. I yeah, the is, special is also on like Spotify and stuff. It? I think it's called Waiting for Death to Take Us or something yep. like that. Yep. Um, That's such a, <laughs> it's such a sick name. <laughs> definitely yeah. it's like so it's like so fucking rad he's like metal you know he's he's, he's so all met, over yeah. the place dude he, his vibe is insane you know just go check him out sam talent definitely check out sam um but so like he hits me up on like wednesday well first of all comedy corner underground is reopening in minneapolis this weekend which is like a huge deal and so chloe radcliffe is headlining and she messages me earlier earlier guest. Yeah, she she's was on, been the on the show um and she's like, hey, do you want to do a spot on any of the shows? I'm like, yeah, I'm open whenever. So just, you know, put me on whatever. Um, and then like two hours later, Sam texts me. He's like, are you busy Thursday through Friday or Thursday through Saturday? And I was like, I got nothing going on. Yep, like, that's yeah. what you do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so like Rochester goes great. That's a that's a fun show. Everybody does great. Um, and then Friday, Chloe, I'm like working. And Chloe's like, hey, do you want to do the early show tonight? And I'm like, yes, that sounds good. I'd also told Sam like uh, on Thursday, like, Hey, just so you know, I'm going to do a set at one of Chloe's shows, but otherwise I'm good to do guest spots, you know, for you to assist this. So then like, I'm going through my day. I'm like, all right, doing the early show completely. Just don't even think to text Sam and be like, Hey, uh, I'm doing Chloe's show tonight. Uh, just completely fucking slips my mind. You know, I'm at work, then I'm home. Then I like nap. But you can do shower. both. Right. No, because they're both they're at eight. Both, yeah, early show. So I didn't even think about it literally at all. I go to CCU, um, have like a fucking lame set. Um, then I, we, we went to Sisyphus to catch Sam set. And like I get here and everybody's like, dude, where the fuck were you? Like you were supposed to be on the show. And I was like, oh, because I guess in my brain, I also just kind of thought it was going to be like, yeah, if I'm here, Sam would just be like, all right, yeah, you can go up. I didn't know I was, like, built into the lineup. Yeah. So, like, yeah, everybody's like, dude, what the fuck? You were supposed to do 10, you know? We had someone else go up. Um, so it felt Who was really the fun. other person? Who's Zach Pagan, uh, who's one of our good friends. So I kind of – I didn't feel horrible because I was like, well, at least Zach got to do, you know, yeah. some fun. Zach's funny. I'm sure he did a great job. But- um, why, why did you get this ta- – speak more on why do you think you – didn't schedule this right i just i just didn't let sam know like hey tonight i won't be at the show i'm going to be doing a set at ccu he assumed that it was going to be every night well i told i had told him that like one of these one of these sets i'm going to be at ccu you know so i might not be at sisyphus like both nights yeah 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 then i didn't take the extra step of like once i knew actually what show telling I was on, him. yes like yeah and yeah, wins yeah for the yeah, early show, saying which night i night. will not be there you can book you know you can have someone else you know is that cool um yeah okay and so yeah like he got off stage and i was he's like ryan where the fuck were you and i'm like dude i'm i'm so sorry <laughs> which you know, we so we came over to sisyphus right after basically right after you got off stage at ccu mm-hmm. we watched mo yakub his set and then came over here and uh yeah, we watched Sam's whole hour basically, and he just fucking destroyed. But, Pack, yeah. Packed out Sisyphus again. Oh yeah, yeah, totally yeah. sold out. He's, Amazing, like dude. That's the other thing with Sam. Like on Thursday in Rochester, like I had a really good set. I felt really good about. it. I was like, that's awesome, man. I you texted the group. I was really fucking happy. Yeah, but I thought off stage. I was like, I kind of crushed, and then Sam went up, and it was just like, like another level. Like it's that like, thing of like, oh, I don't do comedy. Like yeah. I don't do. Yeah, dude, you're, you're like, watching somebody else do it and you're just like holy shit it's like the, the the guy who hosted the show kicked it off great he did a good job and so like the table was set you know and so then i was like all right dinner plates on the table let's start mm-hmm. eating you know and i'm just start I, yeah. dude yeah so i'm having i'm feasting i'm feasting everybody's feasting i'm like this is good and then sam comes in he's like oh that was like you guys thought that was the main meal or not, you know, but this, yeah. like, this is like the fucking meal. Now, uh, yeah, I know. I know that. Now feeling. We're yeah. Like, yeah. I, I totally know that feeling. Who it's like, I just see Sam talent saw me and was like, that was that's the meal, the feast. you know? Yeah. It's like yeah. that scene in hook where they imagine all, all the food and it just appears, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 But no, but there's times where you can do. Uh-oh like be- better than like some like some good guys you know some like yeah. like like i like i like todd Barry yeah. followed me you know and like i did 
you know, like I thought I did really good. Like at the show, did you Todd bury him? <laughs> I thought about that. <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's Todd Barry, so like he did really great too. But like, he's a fucking legend. I, 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 well, I closed on this like new joke that's like kind of edgy, and it's like, it's it's been really hitting. You know, yeah. I'll tell like tell you guys a bit. Uh, we it's we actually rifted a little bit on the road. Um, but um, uh, it's nice too because he like he like complimented that joke, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's like one of those that's jokes true. that's like it's a good closer because it's like kind of little edgy, high energy, and stuff yeah. like that. Um, but then there's other times where it's like, 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 cause then Ari Shafir closed out the show and I thought Ari Shafir was going to be bad. I'm going to say like, even though like he's, you know, great comic and also well-respected, but I was like, I thought he was like, not going to like treat it. Like I thought he was, uh, I, yeah, I thought he was going to be like really loose and not really like. Yeah. Like he'd like, be fine. Yeah. 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 And he'd but probably he, get laughs off his name. Exactly. But he was like, sw- like, he had like the best at it. Like he was like swinging like the hardest, which was like, it was like, oh, this is like, a well, that's very, very good. Like, I, I, I really like Ari Shafir. I mean, I, I like him too, but I've not some of his specials in the past. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's all right. You know, yeah. No, yeah. He's, I, I like him as a person, honestly, which I think a lot of people might raise their eyebrows at because he's very abrasive. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah Ryan yeah, just raised him. I knew it. I called it. Uh, his, his stuff that he's doing right now is better than anything he's done in the past. Like, that's good. Yeah. So um, if you're if he's got a new special coming out, like it's it's gonna be really good. Well, also, okay, real quick, all of us are kind of at a level with featuring where we're capable of burying like like most headliners that are just on the road. You know what I mean? Like not it's happened. Like, yes, of course. And so like it's kind of weird when it happens. But then like and again, like Sam is so far past. Any oh of yeah, us, yeah. But, no, no, no. But even like. When it you was, say when you say headliners such... on the road, you mean like people that we're doing like bar shows with in North Dakota or something, yeah, right? Some like guys, yeah, yeah, some guys yeah, yeah. that are still like capable. But, oh, totally. But yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. you just have a good night and mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you end up bearing them. But yeah. like what it was like the opposite of that was saying where it was just like, oh, this is like another fucking level of stand up. That's like like I when we watch stand up, when I watch like good stand up, I don't really laugh that much just because you're you're so like uh exposed to it that it yeah just, you're it, aware of like the magic trick yes. and, you, and like, you're kind of more just intrigued mm-hmm. at, Dude, my, at the craft at the craftsmanship my face hurt from laughing at sam sets on thursday oh, and last the best he's mm-hmm. he's true i i if you're listening to this podcast pause it and just go, go <laughs> it? To sam for the love of god <laughs> and buy his book don't buy it from amazon prime buy it from his website because yeah, prime yeah. kind of fucks him off all right, it fucks him off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But truly, he's one of the. In fact, he was so. I can kind of demand an apology, but I think we're good because he was going to be on the podcast today, uh, but he went to the Minnesota football game, and uh, he texted me like an hour before, and he's like, "Hey, dude, I had too many hard seltzers. I think I'm gonna." I'm which gonna, is like, it's aw- stuff, dude, which, it's awesome. He's just like a legend. Yeah, totally. He's um, but. <laughs> We got to get back to this though. You you did kind of fuck up by not doing that show here uh, yesterday. I mean, it it yeah, it, it sucks. It sucks for you really more well, than yeah. But I mean, it's it's more sucks for you because I don't think I don't think it would it would fuck with him at all in any way. You know, yeah. I, I yeah, don't yeah. think that's something he no, would hold like, against you. I'm saying it sucks for you that that happened like yeah, that. Yeah, but I still you know you got to apologize. And the reason of course CCU, of course yeah yeah the reason course. CCU didn't go well for me is because <laughs> I get into this dude. I don't think there's I know, but it's. I just god damn ryan has been talking about this since it happened to me i I like to hear we can we can cut out no 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 it's not it's nothing like that i'm just saying (laughs) ryan is a broken record baka was hosting and she's been doing like a lot of stuff just about like you know like hooking up with guys and stuff and like they're really funny jokes and so like when i followed her at sisyphus like a month ago and like I would follow this is, her. This is yeah. Courtney Baca. Yeah. I don't, she hasn't She's, been on the show yet, but no. a very funny uh, comedian in Minneapolis. I, I run a bunch of shows with Courtney. Yeah, and Ryan's ex-girlfriend. Yes. yes. And we're on good terms. say so that. I, yes. Um, yeah. Yes. I followed her at Sisyphus like a couple months ago. And like, I went up and I was like, you got, hey, keep it going for Courtney. That's my ex-girlfriend. Uh, you guys really seem to enjoy her. A lot of the things she was saying pretty hurtful for me you know <laughs> it, it, it's a laugh and so i did that last night silence dude and so then instead of just like moving on i like i'm like well i gotta try to get a fucking laugh off this so i stayed in it for too long 
then like that doesn't fucking work. Like I did seven minutes. My first like three to four minutes was just like not bombing, but like not doing good, you know? And then oh, like the shit, dude. three, I got them. And I was just like, but I already had kind of given up because I was like, uh, I know. I and fading, you're, you're, you know? you're giving up face is so telling. Yeah. Too. Dude. Like just like, like not, I, do I, not I don't be here. I'm sorry. Yeah. I shouldn't have opened with that. Even though it crushed, so fucking hard the first time I did it. Yeah, but. that's so bizarre. But do you think it's because it's like Chloe's people, like Chloe's fans? No, I think I was talking to uh like a couple comics afterwards, and I think I should have been more specific with like I guess what was hurtful or just like not done that because like <laughs> I don't know. It's it was just a weird energy. And so like she hosted and then I went up right after her. And so I don't think it was like the right time in the show for people to be willing to just be like, yeah, oh yeah, that's funny. Like there are, they're still in kind of the You're judgment still building phase. The, the, yeah, the like, crowd. Yeah, you have to get the crowd into a rhythm yes. of, yes, of being at a comedy. Just, you have to train them. You have to break them in. Because the night you did it where it killed, it was like a Sisyphus open mic where it's yeah. like the audience has already seen seven comics yes, at that exactly. point, you know? Yeah. So like there is that kind of instant thing of like, you need to start really swinging. Also people yeah, who go to that open mic are like, like you see the same people. They're like, yeah, they're, we love it, dude. And they're like, we love the yeah. open mic because like, you know, comics like suck and they bomb. And then you see like incredible comics and then like, like us, you know, big, yeah. yeah big, like big, like bigger yeah, like names us. can drop. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Also, I, I also want to not, cause I feel like we're, I was tooting my horn a little bit. I do want to say I've I've gone on the road or like have featured for a comic who's like just a hack dog shit and I just didn't do well featuring and they just buried me. It's because that's, with that's just, not the crowd. That's like in like with you know, just rural. bullshit and like. No, but so but there's like also, that there, side of it too. There is something to be said for being a hack who kills because it's like that's why it's I'm not I'm not like. All I'm no, saying no, no. is it's, they it, can really murder, and that's why they're hacks. Yeah, like, yeah, like the I, cadence is amazing. I'm, actually. I'm not how saying many, that it's it's good I, comedy. I, I don't you know disagree. what I mean? I don't disagree, but just how many fucking times do we have to hear like a white guy in his 50s be like, when we were kids, the playground was a dangerous place, okay? Yeah. It wasn't, they didn't have cushioning. They they threw rocks in your asshole. Murdering. <laughs> you just got people. molested. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they always have such a like a gripe with like peanut allergies. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Dude. like they're so pissed the at weaker yeah. man. Glute they're so pissed exist until 2012. <laughs> and it's like, why are you mad at that? Also, you're from Tennessee. Why do you talk like that? Because I've been on the road for so long. I only do shows in Wisconsin. Yeah. God, dude, there's this fucking. I live in Superior. There's this fucking Italian, just like open micer guy. Like, oh, I like this guy. Already. And he and he's just like bombing off shit. Like, he's like, hey, I mean, like, I'm at the, I go to a restaurant, you know, and the guy, guy next to me, he says, oh, you got to get the chicken. And it's like, why do I got to get the chicken? You know, <laughs> now you ruin my fucking night. You know, not now, now I got to, now I got to, <laughs> now when the waiter comes over, takes my order, all I'm thinking is like, you know, I'm going to ruin this guy's night if I don't get the truck and chicken. You know, this guy's all right. That's uh, he's a made guy. I kind of like it. This I kind of like it. Man. He's, he's <laughs> in the mafia. He's like, he's like, he, he's so pissed. He could not be so pissed about it. And I'm just like, <laughs> he's like, oh, now I got to get the chicken now, huh? I got to get it. Guys, this guy only says, listen to Apollo yeah, for doing his bits. entire life. He's doing bits like, you guys ever notice how you're trying to get your collection money? And then yeah. people always tell you, they all, what do they always say? Oh, I, I had it yesterday. I don't have it today. Why don't you have it fucking today? And then you break their fucking yeah. thumbs. Yeah. Now and that I say, tell me to get the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now that I say it out loud, this guy rules. But yeah. in the moment, he sounds cool. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. funny. It's we're funny getting winning. we're getting very inside uh, baseball on this one. So hopefully you have fun with us. Yeah. You ever you ever talk about football? Are you just talking <laughs> super generalities? You know, you're like, uh, to, you can't name one super generality. Uh. Sports, I guess. Yeah, that that. God, that was lackluster. What a what a <laughs> whiff! What a steerick! One, two, and three in one pitch, folks. And, and now we're back inside baseball. God damn! Hey everybody, Shoot I'm me inside the baseball. In the fucking asshole. Yeah. No, it's uh, and this you know, might be a little inside asshole, but it just uh, it's just. But uh, it is wet and tight, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, who Ladies, wants to everybody. look at my ass? 
Welcome back to the newest hit game show. Who wants to take a look in my asshole? I'm your host, Steve Harvey. <laughs> I'm your host, Mr. Potato Head. Who wants I'm, to yeah. Who wants to fuck my ass? I'm your host, Trans Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> AKA Stephen Harvey. I'm in a wheelchair. Stephen H. Harvey. Uh yeah, so I was I, you that know would be his name dude, if you were an author. You're being too uh tough on yourself. The set wasn't that bad. It I was wasn't, there. But it, it wasn't. It wasn't it, that bad. It, here's here's what I'm frustrated with. It was the worst set I've had since coming back from COVID, and I felt like like when I came back from COVID, I I jumped over this hurdle of like, yeah, I don't really give a shit what the audience thinks, and I think that made me a lot better. And this. It just felt like a step in the it, like a step backwards where it's like it was a bomb, uh, dude. You know, like it yeah. wasn't a bomb, it wasn't but, a bomb, yeah. but like you know, when when it doesn't go as well as you are expecting it to go, because a lot of times you will have nerves and you'll be. I'm not talking about you. I guess I'm talking about me. But like a lot of times, I'll have nerves and be like, I get like, I'm I'm really gonna try. Like I I feel like I need to try hard to like do well at this show. Whereas sometimes you're like, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to do well. You kind of know you're yeah, going to you do well. You just got to be loosey-goosey, you know? goosey, man. Like, um, you can't have that attitude of, like, I need to do well. Just so, like- it, is so, it is so funny. And it's why those on those hacks on the road, they kill because they're loosey good Stand up, it's 99. Per- I mean, it's really not about the jokes or the- it is just about you, having good like- energy, whatever that may be, whatever your version of that good energy that you need. It's like, can you tap into that? night after night and that's why every night i'm like fuck it i don't know and it's like then well, you you, you have, have to it. psych yourself up to be there you know some nights you have it and you aren't thinking about the energy and then you have it you know like yeah it's yeah, yeah some nights it's just it, it's there. just there and that's when and then, it's the best you know yeah and then but i feel like the bombs hit harder on those nights because when you're when you're going into a set and you're like more uncertain and you're like, I'm really going to try. And and I'm, you're yeah. kind of reading the room and you're like, okay, the crowd doesn't seem to be into this stuff or whatever. And you're like, I'm going to, and then you bomb in that situation. And you're like, well, I was kind of expecting that. That's why I was thinking so much about it. But when you go in and you're like, well, I'm going to fucking kill. They're and it'll be crowd. fine. Yeah. And then you, then you bomb or you don't do as well. You don't get up to what you're expecting. You're going to do that stings a lot harder than the one I that have- you're kind of like, really thinking about yeah. you know what i mean yeah yeah i had exactly that in may i bombed so hard so ruth is hosting this open mic at the tiny cupboard and it's in like one of the good rooms in this space in brooklyn mm-hmm. and there's people there you know and people are doing well and i haven't done stand-up in like a year so i'm like I'm, I'm, I'm like i'm gonna do old stuff i'm not gonna really do the new stuff i've been thinking about i'm gonna do i'm gonna do old and do well because i need this you know and, but I, and I needed it too I need hard this for my mental health. Like yeah. I was like, I need, I need, yeah. Which is like so fucking, yeah. it's so fucked it's true up. though, isn't it? It's true, but it's yeah. like, so it's like, so gross. It's like, so gross because it's not like, oh, I want to have a good time. I want to give people a good time. It's like, I need this. It's for like, me. it's the like, so, it's yeah. like, I think stand up can sometimes not be, it can be, it can be like this really shared experience that you're giving and the audience is giving to you because they're letting, you know, and it's this great, it can be this great mutual ex- exchange when it's done well. And it, like, wasn't like, I was like, I'm, it felt like I was like taking, you know, and I bombed with old stuff mm-hmm. that was like tried and true that like kills that I, that like, I've, you know, like I'll, I still like do a little bit of it, you know? Yeah. But if you're and, rusty, you know, and I was rusty and I was like nervous and it, and I, and like Ruth, like, and also Ruth's like, is a good friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> his mom. And like, yeah, what, did, what did, did she say anything when you oh it was one of those where like shelly was there too and they're both just like Oof. and i was like i know like really <laughs> and like i couldn't That's kinda nice race. Though, when it's kind of nice when you have friends there and yeah, oh, you know, yeah, like, dude, then, dude why did i do that you know? <laughs> they're walking back and they're like you'll get it back you're rusty and i'm like yeah. do i suck at this now yeah. but it was really good for me because it like completely destroyed like my ego I was like and I that's when I was like I was told telling you guys I was like I'm not doing any old I'm writing like 15 minutes brand new and I'm not doing any old until that brand new works yeah. and I did that like so I didn't really do that much and then it was like a bomb where like I didn't really do stand up that much in June and July granted I, I was working but and then like in in July I was like all right we're doing new and I was just kind of like 
okay at stand up. This is like when Henry came to visit and I was like telling him, I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm trying to do this like new thing. And I'm just kind of like, okay at stand up, which is like weird. But then the new got good. And then I kind of made it back. better at like mini in Minneapolis. And then that new now is like crushing at Mike's, you know, and shows, but it like, like I needed that bomb though in May, like yeah. that bomb mm-hmm. in May, like helped because I was like, all right, like get out of your comfort zone. Cause you're, com- cause your comfort zone already sucks. You already tried it. So yeah, like- that, dude, that's like, I was like last night when I got home, I was just like, God, I, I think I got to work a little harder at this. You know, it was one of those things where it's just like, cause it was I think that's weird. I think this is a good, that's a really good opener, man. I think it was just like a weird night. Yeah, yeah, what sucks yeah, too, just, dude, is then I did like the the y'all ever yeah suck a really tiny penis, huh? Anybody? And that fucking bomb too. So then what? It's like, yeah, bro, oh, this like, guy sucks, dude. Oh, what these guys. No. But then Mo went up and started crushing, and I was like, it's yeah. me. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not the audience. It's just me. My energy was not right. And, oh yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah. Also, you know what sucked, dude? Is I was like, I was doing that joke, and I was like, y'all ever, y'all ever. And like no one is like cheering at all, and then wait, finally wait, like, you got to describe it for the listeners though. You you put your your yeah like, like I'm smoking a joint, and <laughs> so like I'm doing this like y'all over, and normally people would be like yeah you know, and like nothing. I did it like four times probably before someone finally like out of frustration was like yeah yes we yes we like weed yes. <laughs> And so yeah, that was a like, CBD crowd, dude. I could have told you that, man. Maybe yeah, you're the CBD king, <laughs> CBD CEO, Grant Stinky Man Winkle. Which, by the way, did you see uh, the the tweet that yeah, that Bill sent go, to yeah, us? Yeah. The Stinky Cheese Man. He he go by he they pronouns. Yeah. Did you know that that was actually a thing, Tommy? Is that where you're bringing that from? Or I, I, it- no, I I saw the tweet and I was like, I I knew the Stinky Cheese Man was a book in my head, but I forgot about it so maybe it was just deep in my okay brain right. oh yeah parallel thought is that what you're you're going with on this one you didn't steal the bit i think ryan called you the stinky cheese man first yeah and i knew about the book oh you did yeah it's a direct heard of this a, book it's a literary reference oh reference <laughs> okay it sounds a little fishy oh, you're what, the, what, you're the, you read books sounds like you read books man yeah, this sounds a little fishy or stinky, if I might say, because Grant's yeah. the stinkiest man I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> Do we and have? He's a... like, oh, I've never read the Stinky Cheese Man book. Yeah, right. <laughs> Do we have a listener? Forget yeah, we do. We actually do. Should we and get to it? Yeah, let's do it. Do the news thing. Noticias del mundo con José Díaz Balart. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm having sex with a family member. Why'd you just look at my tweet? We got it. We got it because it was the first thing I opened on my phone. We got a tweet update. It's up to three likes. And I'm guessing I'm, that was me, you, and Tommy. I'm going to delete it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my girlfriend just texted me, Tran- trans Mr. Potato Head, laugh my ass off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. It's working in the other room, baby. <laughs> Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Okay. Um... Let's see here. We got two. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Okay. All right. Check this out. Hold on. We got we got some old business to clear up again. What? We opened the gates. I'm here to declare my allegiance to Ryan and his <laughs> God sent word. <laughs> Although many of us Ryan heads believe that he is indeed God himself. Dude, this is my friend Elijah. <laughs> I know this is my friend Elijah from college, and he's trying to piss me off. Uh, Dude, let it, uh, let it lie. He's doing I'm, I'm believing his name. Therefore, Ryan delivers the good word to Ryan, which is bestowed upon us. <laughs> Dude, yes. Praise Brian. <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. Uh, uh, Okay. Fucking, is that it? Yeah, that's that's what we got. So um, that rules again. If you want to, I guess I guess if you want to uh, write in and just suck Brian's dick, uh, it's grantwinklescomedy.com slash we cool podcast. Hey, can or- that woman who wrote in that I had a hot voice? Can she <laughs> can she just speak up a little bit? I, I think can- that was a live show. No, something. but it came in through the email, I think. Oh, did it? I, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It's all running together. 
Uh, but yeah, if you want to, if you want to de- demand your own apology or or apologize for something anonymously, please, uh, uh, please. I'm gonna start a cult. It's gonna be just, him, yeah. him, and one other guy. <laughs> it's gonna yeah. be your college roommate. Okay. A cult with Ryan and one other dude. Somehow I'm not the leader of it. He's the leader. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Uh, okay. So grantwinklescomedy.com slash we cool podcast. Keep writing these in. And here is a, uh, a demand. I'd like to demand an apology from Tommy and I's soccer coach in freshman year of high school. He screamed himself hoarse at halftime during a game that we were losing badly. He also made us do an hour and a half of conditioning before we played a team of premier level in parentheses, high level in club soccer, highest level in club soccer. Uh, He made us do an hour and a half of conditioning before we played a premier level team of 14 year old girls who crushed us. (laughs) Okay. I don't. Okay. This, I forgot about this guy, this coach. Bring us in. Bring I us don't in. remember the girls beating us. I think I blocked that out. You know what I do? They were, and they were the same age as us. They were just like better. <laughs> They're just, I think I do remember them beating us, but this guy, he, I forget his name. Fuck. But he was like, he was an soccer ex, coach. he was a soccer coach, but he was an ex Vikings player. He played like two seasons on the Vikings and maybe only played like why was he coaching boys soccer yeah and he was on the and he was on the bachelorette the vikings uh famously a football team you know yeah american he was like i think he just like all he was just like an athlete like maybe he played like soccer in college or maybe he played like he didn't play overseas he was just like kind of like just like an amazing athlete type guy but he was like on he was also on the bachelorette for a few seasons like he was like a recurring guy and he so was like hunk. and he was a virgin what his thing we made fun of him because we were like we found out that he was on the bachelorette very handsome man like very yeah. very handsome man Cla- very classically handsome was he a himbo but, huh him, he very himbo? big himbo vibes like okay. total fucking moron you know <laughs> and uh and And uh, we, we went on the, we like found out that he's on the bachelorette and his thing, his like thing on the bachelorette bachelorette was like, you know, I'm 32. I've never had sex before, but you know, I think uh, Stacy's like the one for me. And then, so we would just like, we we would just call him like a virgin. (laughs) Like a bunch of, like we would like, we were just like a bunch of four- you guys were probably all virgins. Yeah, I'm 14. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm a virgin myself. And we're like, dude, you fucking don't get pussy, dude. Like, <laughs> like a bunch of children. Like <laughs> well, saying you don't get any pussy. It's no surprise that he made you do an hour and a half of conditioning. If like were you in, in high school? That's what I okay. So yeah, it's a- I played on the freshman soccer team in high school. And I remember, I remember like I was of- yeah, I was bad. Well, a lot of times, like the coaches, uh, in in at that level, they weren't like teachers. Like sometimes it would just be like somebody who coaches, especially yeah. if you're not like yeah. the varsity level. And so, they would like watch lunch. They would be like a lunch monitor. Yeah, yeah, just somebody. They would have like some other the job in the school yeah. and then coached. Yeah, and, it's and like the school police officer for some reason. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. Like, like I'm gonna handcuff you. I remember so that you I, use your feet. I remember. Yeah, they're like hall monitors, and they're like such dickheads too. Like, uh, and they like flirt with like like the like this guy would like flirt with like the girls who are like ch- it's very weird it's very bizarre yeah. thinking about like how adults interacted with you as a high schooler because you're like i would never talk yeah. to high schoolers like this at all i would just totally. you know i would just buy them beer and then be like all right boys i'll be on my right, way you know? yeah, uh, yeah exactly now. but uh yeah they're like, scary. The, the relationship that you had with your i remember specifically like soccer coaches in like junior high and high school like because you're just like dudes hanging out on the team I just yeah, no one's coach like you fucking yeah. hate your coach, which is like not how that relationship. Yeah, is. bro, this is freshman soccer at yeah. Washburn High School. Like the good players who were freshmen, they just played varsity right away. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. not like a big poll of kids. Oh, so it's like the you know, stoners and like the nerds and shit. Like yeah, that's all it is. It's the stoners yeah. and the nerds, and we. And I remember in tryouts, I ran, I sprinted really hard. And he was like, and I wasn't really good because I never played. So- Last time I played soccer was when I was like five years old. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But I, I sprinted really hard and did this like 
good stop. And they were like, oh, we got to get him. He's like fast. And then like the whole season, I just like totally gave up on running. Like my whole thing <laughs> is this guy thought I was like fast. And I'm like, I'm actually, I was only fast once, man. Like I'm so. And also you're a virgin. So Also you're a virgin and you're gay, dude. It was, <laughs> like, <laughs> it was the stoners and the nerds. And yeah. somehow Tommy found a way to be both. <laughs> 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 it's true yeah young little tommy mm-hmm. yeah well, years old. he was a dickhead this guy was a yeah this, so let's uh a- let's demand an apology let's go ahead and demand an apology from all these fucking assholes man like all these yeah. pretty power tripping guys man back oh ryan ryan rolls his eyes i forget he's on the coach's side some dude. coaches if it's a good coach and in, like of course, a nice guy. i'm not talking about okay. good dude a cab <laughs> means coaches man. <laughs> <laughs> except if you go to the strip club no i don't care about that either <laughs> No, there was just there's like a a ton of fucking shitty assholes who hang out at high schools and then they end Dude, up. Dude, yeah, they would bully you. The coaches would bully, are, like lording it over you that they have power over you, and it's yeah. just like, I, why, dude? I'm I'm 14, man. Lord of the oh, yeah, for one a ring. Yeah. <laughs> also, a lot of the coaches went to Washburn, my high school, and then just like hung out and became coach. Like they just are just yeah. they're just like. Uh, forever in high school and they like yeah. cannot get out of high school brain and it's like you're 38 years old you have a family like what are you why do you care yeah. you ever have those friends who like you know you graduated from high school and then you know you're like 19 or 20 and they'd be like be like what are you guys doing tonight and they're like oh we're gonna go watch like the high school football game and, and you're like i don't why? think that's legal if we don't I, have any family members like, like yeah you, you ever had like friends who would like go visit the school yeah it's like why that's weird i remember because i remember being like a senior and like People Last would come back. Seniors, yeah. like coming back and it's like, dude, what, why are you here? Yeah, they would come back and they just like would like hang and get drunk. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's Pretty really bizarre. Not good. Anyways. No, not good. That, is that the fucking, is that the episode? <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good episode. I, I do want to end on Ryan just to yeah. wrap up. You need bombs. You need those moments. I agree. Of course. I agree. Those moments, those moments are awesome. Never Use them. But here's how stupid I am is I was like, yeah, I think I reached a point where I just like don't give a shit. So I don't really bomb anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's you always think no, that but you I, can be there mentally, but you're still gonna bomb. Yeah, it's just and it happens least yeah. you just, it just hurts so much more because you're like, that's what I I'm saying. I wasn't that's, prepared for so this that, at all. Exactly. You know? That's what of that's all what, the scenarios that I'd ran in my head of like the way this go- yeah, went. Yeah. I didn't predict I would bomb yes. the first like three minutes and then that makes do it okay sting way end. more yeah. than yeah. if you're going in being like, I'm gonna need to fight for this, and then yeah. you don't get it. Bombing yeah. rules. Yeah, it it I mean it there's nothing like it really. It's like, awesome. It's awesome. It hits your soul in a way that nothing re- it's like getting broken up with or something. Like it it's yeah. the real like well, it's worse than getting broken up with because like, you know, you can't broken- blame anybody else for it. And and it's like, you know, when you get broken up with, sometimes you didn't do anything <laughs> wrong whereas like with state yeah. I did a lot of things. It was all me. (laughs) Just the idea, just the concept of sitting in your apartment, thinking of a thing, and you go, huh, that's, wow, that's kind of funny. Good job, Tommy. Wow, you know, (laughs) you're smart. You're a smart guy and funny and handsome. And then you're like, wow, I can't wait. Dad's voice is your inner monologue, by the way. (laughs) And I'm like, (laughs) and I'm like, I can't wait. You know, this is going to, this is going to go over well tonight at the show. And then people are like, no. And (laughs) it's just like, we don't like the thoughts that the you had. Like, really? I thought it was good. Damn weird, man. He's too damn weird. <laughs> He's too damn weird. You said that about our shows. It's like poetry. They rhyme, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Always. That's because we started with the Weird Al thing, and now we're ending with the Weird Al. Yeah. Call back, you know? That's how you do good comedy. All right. Well, <laughs> is that the show? That's the show, I baby. That's the show? I think I think What'd you say? be it. Yeah, no, we said that's the show. I'm going to wrap up. I'll come with you. All right. Cool. All right, I gotta leave. All right. Well, before you go, let's let's end this thing. Um, you guys, thanks for listening. Make sure you go check out Sam Talent somehow. If it's yes. you know his specials, his book, whatever, go check that man out. He's hilarious. Uh, thank you for listening. I think this is an okay episode. It was pretty. It was all right. I think good. it was so, really good. And listen, I'd remember, say pretty good. Ten out of ten. Remember, I'm still riding that low from the bomb. So don't be afraid to write in something nice about me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
Uh, um, Tommy's friend from college. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, for Tommy Bayer, Grant Winkles, I've been Ryan Call. This has been the goddamn We Cool podcast. Thanks for listening. <laughs>